Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a singles reading. This is for singles, okay? So this is going to be a love reading, and it's for singles, okay? So that way we don't have to deal with the couples and their problems here. We're talking about singles. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe, for singles, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for singles for love for February? Let's talk about February, please. February 2020. For Taurus, sun, moon, rising. We have a new beginning here because I just saw the world. Which is a major new beginning. You've learned something. You've completed a cycle. So something. we have a new chapter beginning. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. This is your wish being granted. The answer to your prayers. The Nine of Cups is a very beautiful card. You're ready. This is wishes being fulfilled. This is happiness. Something good is coming. I know that it is. If you want it. Ooh, Five of Cups and the Four of Cups. And I use this deck constantly. This, one, this is actually one of my favorite decks. Uh, this is being discontent. Being discontent, sad, grieving. You may be going through something that is making you sad. We definitely have a feeling of sadness here. Very emotional with these cups. So you are going through an emotional time right now. I feel like uh, you may not th believe. or you Because this is like missing an opportunity here. I think that you may be missing something. You're not really looking for something. You may be grieving over something. Maybe you're sad. Maybe you're regretful. Um, maybe you're not looking for love. You know? I mean, and I, it's funny because I said, if you want it. Maybe you're quite content by yourself. Okay? Um, we have somebody here that's really, really happy with themselves. But then again, we have an element of sadness. So, you know, not really wanting it. You may not want it. As somebody may be offering you some sort of love or emotional support or something like that. And you're just not even interested. That could probably be the case. Or you're, you, you, yeah, it feels like you're, you may be, some of you may be stuck on something else. You may be having a really hard time accepting that there's somebody else if that is for you. Something about closure, because 4 plus 5 equals 9, then we have a 9 here. 9s are about closure. It's a sign to move on. So perhaps, you know, you are moving on from something that hurts you, and you're not wanting anybody right now. Um, this is singles. Singles. Queen of Swords. This is an independent person. Somebody that is very, very independent. Now, the Queen of Swords is somebody that can be hard to love because the Queen of Swords has been through a difficult time, okay? she's She has life experience behind her back. She's been hurt, and so now she is guarded. So if you are the male Taurus watching this, you may be wanting to start something or, or coming across this person um, that is very, and if you, even if you're the female, this could be you taking on this energy. This person is hard to love because they have been hurt so badly. They don't trust. Okay. This person is guarded. They are afraid to open up, really afraid to open up because it, you know, gotta protect myself. I, I do. I have to protect myself from getting hurt again. So whoever you are dealing with, if this is you, if you are the Taurus woman, then you are probably guarded. You probably are not looking for anybody that is anything uh, less than you deserve. It's like this person is very authentic and I expect the same. So this person is very communicative, you know, can communicate very well. And whoever she chooses better know how to communicate as well. I gotta take a drink. <coughs> so if you are the Taur Taurus male, you may be um, trying to, you know, start something with this uh, person who is um, oh, a very intelligent. This person is intelligent. This person is sharp. Uh, very uh, blunt. Okay, this person is blunt. And they will tell you exactly how it is um, without any sort of worry about how you're going to feel. It's like, you know, this is the way it is. Let's take it or leave it. 
So this is who we're dealing with here. Now we have the world reversed. So this, this, now this could be an X as well. Some of you, especially if you are the male Taurus, you may, this, you could be uh, talking to an X that you have unfinished business with. Now you could, that could be for the female as well, because this is unfinished business. Now this is a lack of closure. Remember I said these nines are closure. So somebody may be, be you may be, if you are the Taurus woman, you may be lacking closure and it's caused you to be bitter. Okay, maybe you're bitter because something ended, you know, and you feel like it's not over yet. But I saw the world upright. It is over. It's over. So it, take it as a lesson and move on. But anyway, um, the world reversed. Now this is feeling empty inside, feeling like something isn't over. But this is a very independent person who is very self-sufficient and you know, is stands in her power. She has a sort of power in her hand. If you are the masculine that is watching this, you may be, you may have your, you know, you may be hoping and wishing for this woman to give you a chance, but you know, she's hard. She's hard because perhaps somebody in the past, maybe her ex, you know, really hurt her. Anyhow, that's probably the case. Um, three, <laughs> it's gotta let go of those past hurts. That's the Three of Swords reversed. Let go of those past hurts. It's time to focus on the future. Somebody has been, you know, really hurting. And it's, it's really time to let it go. I, I, you know, I don't understand. I know that there's people all at different stages, you know, of their pain. Um, but I feel like we have somebody here that really needs to release the pain. They need to let go of the past. And they need to start communicating. Start putting yourself out there. Start opening up. Um, hmm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Now the Queen of Pentacles reverse. That would be that could be you. Okay, this is somebody that is is uh, unstable, insecure, jealous, suspicious. Um, doesn't have anything of value to add or to offer, not willing to give. Maybe somebody is too focused on their job, too focused on their money, not willing to put effort into finding a relationship. You could be dealing with that person or it could be you. I feel like there's an opportunity that is being missed, okay? It's being missed or it's not being accepted because of there's lack of trust, okay? There's definitely trust issues here. There's somebody that has been really, really hurt. Whether you, if you are the you are the male or the female watching this, if you are, say you are the male watching this, and you have your eye on this female, she doesn't trust. Okay, we have a feminine here that doesn't trust. She's very suspicious and she's very jealous, and and she's like this because she's had her heart broken. She's had it really. She's really been stabbed and she's been hurt really, 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 really bad. So that's why she probably um, seems harsh. She may seem harsh. She may seem a little uh, brutal because she's in protection mode. Okay, so we do have a feminine that is in protection mode. She probably, you know, and a relationship may have ended without proper closure, you know. Um, maybe they, this person, um, you know, just had something to do with the web. Maybe they broke up over the internet. You know what I mean? That's, that's not proper. It's really not. It's not proper. It's cowardly. So anyway, um, but this is a wish being fulfilled. So that somebody, but then again, that is, that is happiness right there. I'm happy. I'm good. The nine of cups. I have everything I need. That's what the nine of cups is. I really do. I have everything I need. I'm happy. So you, there is somebody here that is, or you may be wishing, somebody may be wishing for, you know, love or they're wishing for their ex or they're wishing for somebody that to change. And that person isn't ever going to change. Just saying anyway, um, it's time to leave the past hurts behind and start communicating and opening up and putting yourself out there. It feels like we have somebody here that is very much alone and it's kind of like they like to be alone. I'd, I'd rather be alone than get my heart broke. That's what I see. So if you are the Taurus male watching this and you have a, a female that you are trying to pursue, she, she may be um, dealing with her own issues and... She's not open, okay? Just saying. 
Maybe you need to look in a different direction. If you are the Taurus a female, I feel as though you're not really interested. I mean, honestly, and obviously you're watching this because you're single and you kind of want it. I feel like you kind of want it. But if they are anything lo less than <laughs> near perfect, I don't think so. So that's that's the way I feel. It's like, no. Total authenticity, total truth, total upfront. If you can't be upfront for me from the get go, then to hell with you. Um, five of Pentacles. Now, this is abandonment. We have abandonment issues. We do have a feminine here that has, has abandonment issues. She's been abandoned. So, if you are the masculine watching this, that is why you are not getting uh, what you want from this person feminine she has been abandoned in the past and she is fearful of being abandoned again um three of pentacles and it is a challenge it's a challenge to work with this person it's challenging because this person really tends to like to work alone so i think that we have a real loner here who uh wants a relationship but really wants their independence as well so that makes it really, really difficult. It feels like this. there's a relationship that probably won't be successful because we have a very self-sufficient, independent person who has grown really cold and hard to love because of her previous abandonment issues. Definitely abandonment issues. Um, she doesn't really have anything to give and she's not willing to give. She's definitely not willing to give. She's not. So, um, you might want to just move on, especially if you are the male. You may want to just move on from whoever this person is. This person obviously has unfinished business from the past that they have not healed from yet. <coughs> if you are the feminine watching this, I feel like you will probably be very, um... honest and truthful I feel like you will be wanting <coughs> I don't know why <coughs> I'm having problems I have not been smoking so it's not from smoking all of a sudden too so and this is about that's a sort of communication so and I am a Taurus so this is like having a hard time communicating if you are the feminine I feel like you will probably obviously have a hard time communicating speaking up speaking to anybody communicating with anybody you may be like you don't you just want to be alone because the queen of swords is a very uh independent energy somebody who really likes to be alone um not willing to start anything with anybody because of all the trust issues so i mean you're say you're if you are the single taurus female i see you you know being very guarded, um, not communicating very much. And when you do com communicate, it can, may seem a little harsh. Somebody may uh, come towards you and uh, be very intimidated. If you are the female, you are very intimidating because of your nature. I think people may be like, they don't even dare. They probably don't even dare to come near you because of your stance, because of your uh, aura. You know, they're probably like, damn, I don't even dare. This very intimidated. I think that, you know, somebody probably wants to approach you, but they don't dare to. Um, they're probably hoping and wishing that you would open up and communicate with them. And I feel like you won't. I don't think that you will because, you know, you're in your own space right now and you're not wa wanting to repeat any lessons. I feel like you have really learned a really hard lesson and you're not willing to go back and, and repeat it. So, anyhow, as far as single Taurians go, I feel like you are in a, you're getting to a better place on your own. And especially if you're the feminine, I feel like you are moving to a better place and it feels like you're not going to, uh, really open up to anybody at this time in February as somebody may try somebody at a distance okay somebody that lives uh uh in a different place you know there's a big distance here 
uh, a long distance. Somebody from a long distance may want to come. They may want to talk to you. They may want to visit with you, and you may probably reject them. You will probably reject them and say, "No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to communicate. I, I don't have anything to give to you. I, I got my own shit going on right now. I'm not interested." So that may be the case. Um, I feel like you're happy right where you are. Um, you probably will be approached, though. I think that you will be approached and you will probably say no. If you are the masculine watching this, you may be approaching a feminine or a female or, or whatever sex you are. I don't care if you're whatever you are. You will probably be appro approaching somebody that... Uh, has abandonment issues and they can't open up so you you may have to move on and that is what I see let's get one of these just for the heck of it since I was planning to what do we got for Taurus I see not accepting an opportunity okay I don't I'm not interested that's what I see I'm just not interested sorry honeymoon enjoy the holiday enjoy the bliss of holiday time together now that is the approach i think that there is going to be an approach i feel like we have somebody here that is going to be approaching you know I, there's a distance and i do see the distance and i think that that um this person may want to enjoy the bliss right they want to they want to wine and dine in the whole nine yards but i think there is going to be a rejection so that's what I see. Good luck.